Hey guys, we're going to look at how we can do marking in Microsoft Word, like when we put a place tick or a cross or something. And I'm going to show you just how I do it. It's a slightly different way. I don't use ticks or crosses. I just use dots, red dots or green dots. And it's actually easier because you can literally just click uh, where you want the dot to go rather than having to work with macros to place um, ticks or crosses or maybe use the right font to get the symbol correct and all that which is such a waste of time so this is one way that I've found that works for me and I'm going to share that with you now so the first thing is here I have Microsoft Word I have my Word document open and I need to have my drawing tab enabled I found that none of this works without the drawing tab enabled so how do we get there on my ribbon, anywhere where I've got a bit of free space, I'm just going to go like to the end there and I just right click and I say customize the ribbon. Customize ribbon and if I have a look on the right hand side it says customize the ribbon. I'm going to go down you see the drawing tab has not been enabled so I'm just going to enable that. Alright, that's the first thing. There it is there and let's just see that's it there. The drawing tab is now there. I can see the word draw. Now, we're not actually going to use the drawing tab, but we needed it to be enabled because I'm going to use the quick access toolbar, which is normally right at the top here, and I'll show you why. I'm going to go to the quick access toolbar, and over here, I've got a little arrow thing, and I'm going to click over there, and I can customize my quick access toolbar. Go down to more commands, more commands great and here I am again but this time instead of customizing the ribbon I'm customizing the quick access toolbar here are the current things I have in my quick access toolbar I'm gonna to change that I'm gonna change choose commands from and I'm gonna say you know what choose commands from the draw tab that's why we needed that draw tab enabled by the way click draw great and I'm gonna go down here to where I've got the drawing tools where did I I think I went past them drawing tools there it is there drawing tools now you'll notice that there's like a drawing tools here it's got some pens next to it and then there's a drawing tools underneath the drawing tools without the little icon is the one that you want it's got a little drop down arrow there as well click on drawing tools click on add it's now added there great click OK now, if we have a look at my quick access toolbar, right at the end, I've got my drawing tools available. So I'm going to click on my drawing tools and you'll notice I've got my various pens and I've got red pens, green pens, black pens, an eraser, all kinds of pens. It's very cool. And a highlighter. Yay. Highlight teachers love highlighters. Primary school teachers love highlighters. Maybe high school teachers too. I don't know. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to go here and all I'm going to do is click on the green pen. And if I want to, my green pen is now active. If, if I just click, you'll notice I can draw with it if I want to, or I can literally just click. Okay, and that's what I like doing. I just click, that is a tick for me. A green circle is a tick. You can, I mean, if you want to, you can do that, but I mean, that's nasty. Back to my drawing tools. See here, I've got a little arrow there. I can actually just click on the arrow and I can specify, okay, maybe that's, you know, the, the dot is too big. I can make it a bit smaller. You can change the color if you like as well. I prefer it just like this because, you know what, it's a good size. It's nice and visible, especially when you're counting it. If you want to change to red, just go ahead, click on red. There it is there. And you can decide what you want to do with that. And highlighting is the same. Click, highlight. Look, I'm highlighting everything. All right. Uh, sorry. And let me show you what that looks like in an actual document with real students live work. Here it is here. Okay. So there you can see I've got some information here. If I want to mark stuff wrong, I can just switch pens and say, you know what, buddy? I'm so sorry. It's wrong. I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, I can be like, no, that's so wrong, dude. Okay. I wouldn't really do that. Um, just control Z. Okay. I would just do that. Okay. Or, you know, it's too wrong. Or whatever. I'm actually trying to just use the green ticks instead and leave out the red ones. Um, maybe I'll do the red ones later. I don't know. But this is just what I'm doing. And hopefully that works for you. So have a look. There it is there. Your drawing tools in your quick access toolbar. And you can then go ahead and quickly access the pen that you want.